What's up? I bet none of you expected to see a video from me anytime soon, if not ever again, right? But hey, I'm here now, so I just haven't been making videos all year. Stating the obvious, yeah, but you know, I just haven't. Partially because I wanted to take a year off, give this whole TTC, TTC a break, and another part was it was because, you know, I have a life, and, uh, you know, had to move a couple of times due to my job, and, uh, you know, I finally got settled in in the early part of November, but if I would have started making videos in November, what would that have looked like around TTC, you know? Hey. But I'm here now. That's what's up. One more time, I'm gonna stop. 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 One more
I'll be the first to admit, you know, once before Michael Vick was an Eagle, I've always said it, even back to his Virginia Tech days, man, I've always said that Michael Vick was an overrated quarterback. Overrated quarterback. But, you know, he's, he's, he's righted a lot of wrongs in his life. He's proving that. And he's actually changing his approach to the game which he's showing that also on the field. Um, you know, Andy Reid has done a hell of a job, and everybody else on the coaching staff has done a hell of a job with him, you know, making him a quarterback. And now, you know, he's a hell of a quarterback. You know? In, in cases like this, man, I love to be proven wrong. You know, and, and he proved to me... He, he, he can be a quarterback and a damn good one, too. One of the best in the NFL. So, you know, it was nice to see him in the talks for a while for the, you know, MVP talk. But, you know, I I don't know what happened with the entire offense towards the end of the year. You know, the pass protection needs to be fixed in, fixed in off season. I mean, that's without question. You know, because Vic, I mean, even though he's the best at what he does as far as, you know, scrambling around and, you know, creating time, you know, for the receivers to get open, you know, he got worn down, he got hit. You know, that offensive line needs to be revamped, in my opinion, during the offseason. But anyway, that's for another video. Anyway, um, you know, sweep the Giants. That, that second game in, in the Meadowlands was, uh, that first 52 minutes, man, was horrible. I couldn't stand watching it. I couldn't stand it. But that last seven and a half minutes, man, scoring 28 points in the last seven and a half minutes in the fourth quarter to come back and win, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Never seen anything like that before, and I doubt highly that we'll ever see something like that again. But it was amazing. It was amazing. I mean, unless you're a Giants fan, but it was <laughs> damn. Yeah, that's all I can say about that. So to sweep them again this year was nice. Uh, split with the Cowboys. You know what? The Cowboys fans want to go all ape shit and crazy over a one point win with their starters and against a second and bunch of second and third stringers. You know, basically they had one good drive. Cowboys had one good drive at the end of the game, and that happened to be the drive that put them up by one point. So, you know, hey, they acting like that's the Super Bowl for the, of the year for them, some of them. So, whatever. Hey, either way, it didn't matter to us. And you could say, oh, we played down to it or whatever, whatever. You know, would I like to beat the Cowboys no matter what? Fuck yeah, I hate the Cowboys. But nothing was on the line for us. It would have made no sense to have Vic go in there and get his leg broken or something, you know? Something like that. Would have been pointless. But whatever. People call excuses, call it excuses all they want. And I'm sure that's what they'll do. That's what they've done. But whatever. Strategy is strategy. Facts are facts. And then excuses are a whole other thing. So. But, and then the Redskins, you know, it, <laughs> it sucked to lose to them in the first game, but credit to all the Eagles fans, you know, that was at, that was at the game, I was surprised, a little bit surprised, I, ex I expect a little bit more booze, but McNabb getting an ovation before the game was good, man, that was very special, I like, oh man, that was good, um, and it says a lot about the Eagles fans, which a lot of people outside of the Eagles fan base, and maybe even the media, you know, won't admit that, you know, that was a good thing, but whatever, <laughs> um, yeah, so they came into Philly and beat us the first game, but, you know, the second game, we, Monday Night Football, we went into Washington, man, and just waxed their fucking ass to no end like nobody's ever done before, you know, I mean, it's pretty bad for their losing team with the Redskins to fucking beat him so bad that the Hall of Fame calls calls and asks for the starting quarterback's jersey to put in the Hall of Fame, Michael Vick. I mean, that's that's all you got to say right there. That's how bad that asshole was. 
But, you know, whatever, man. So, overall, great season. Loved it. Of course, like any year, ups and downs, they, they happen. Um, I believe that we... I don't know what happened against Minnesota. I think... I, I don't know what happened against Minnesota. I can't explain that. And then, of benching the starters uh, last game against the Cowboys. I think we could have been... I think we could have been a 12-4 and four team. But, you know, hey, it is what it is, man. You know, 10-6, and six, division champions. Still short of the Super Bowl. So, hey, whatever. But I'm, I'm going to try to make more videos during the offseason. Um, this video is going on way too long, way longer than I thought. But Deshaun Jackson... Fucking man, and you know he's the man when he has haters to no end on other in other fan bases. So he's doing something right. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got, man. Peace. And you know what? Oh, congratulations to any Packers fans, man. It, it pissed me off that we lost last night. But you know what? I I said going into the playoffs. I said going into the playoffs that if we can get by the Packers, then we're capable of beating anybody else in the NFC playoffs. Um, you know, I, I look at the Packers. They were the toughest challenge for us, in my opinion, in the NFC playoffs. But, you know, they beat us. No excuses, man. They're they they they're a hell of a team. So, you know what? Congratulations to the Packers, Packers fans. You know, congratulations. Same song, same dance for the for Phillies fans, or Philly fans, man. Same song, same dance. But anyway, that's all I have for now. Peace, and it ain't never going to change. Never. Go birds, bitches. <laughs>